Uh, good evening, sports fans, and welcome to another day of Hiller Soccer. I'm Steve Sweetapple, along with my broadcast partner today, Frank Schnurr, and John Ritz on camera. Holliston coming in here to the uh, new Fruit, St or Fruit Street field, the high school field. And welcome to your initial broadcast, Frank. Thanks, Steve. It's good to have you here. I'm excited to be here. Excited to be working with you. We used to play together. We did. I was going to say back when we were young, but it, it seems even <laughs> too far. <laughs> it was over 40. Yeah, she in with a touch. So Hiller's coming in. Last weekend they had two straight 2-0 two victories over Medway in the home and away back-to-back -back games. Beautiful day, a little windy here, but at least the rain stopped. We got bright sunshine. Henkel on the ball, puts it out wide. The one thing we need here is bigger numbers on the jerseys. <laughs> and that's not an age thing. From the back, it's fine, but when they're on the far side and you're trying to look at the front, Hatherly on the ball. It's a ball over the top. And both teams a little ragged here at the start. No, no real possession from anyone. McGathlin with the ball. Touch pass. Henkel intercepts. Cuts back to the middle. Lays it off to Thomas. Thomas loses it in his foot, but Henkel's there. Arthur. Holliston with the ball, give and go. And I don't have 32 on my roster, so I don't know who that is. There's a chance on goal. And first shot is in. I can't give credit to anybody because we don't have a number 32 on the roster. Strong so attacking run there by number 32 down the left wing. Kind of outran the defender there and tucked it in the far corner. So 14-32, we have the first score. Holliston with a 1-0 lead on Hopkinton. And we know his name is Alex, but he's not on the roster. Thomas. And Poor touch, sends it out of bounds. Holliston with a futsal indirect kick. Back to Collins. McGathlin. Nice turn there from Lepakis. Now Holliston's stringing together a bunch of passes here, and now it's been intercepted kicked out of bounds. Panther throw, which is an indirect kick now due to COVID. That was Noroyan with a pickoff, but lost control of it. Holliston coming down the right wing. There's a cross into the box. Flicked on. And very good step there from Thomas. Holliston throw. Sheehan with the ball. Henkel loses the ball. Oh. I was just going to say, Holliston's passing is a little crisper, and then they turn it over. But they immediately get it back. 
ball's pushed out to bent off out wide. A little too much. Hiller throw. Uh, Anka just tried to do a little flick on to himself. Nice turn. Back outside to Ben Off into the middle. The shot. Great shot. Nice take there from De Silva. Yeah, Hollison feels pretty comfortable stringing together passes. They created another dangerous chance there. They've had a little more than five minutes gone here in the first quarter. There's a push off on Mari. Yeah, they seem much more comfortable on the ball. A lot better one-touch passing. And that's just booted out by Arthur. Mario put the ball back in play. That ball was in the air. What do you think of these COVID rules, Frank? I think it's really tough for the kids to get used to them. Uh, and I think the kick-ins in particular in the defensive end of the field are very difficult because um, they're only allowed short passes and it's hard to get it out of their zone. Yeah, it's got to stay on the ground. Yeah. Nice cut back there from Benoff. Thomas with a steal. Orion. There's a little bit of a hack from Lepakis. Looks like we've got a wave of substitutes coming in for Hopkins. Yeah, we noticed this is the first game. It's like watching a full line shift change. Oh, here's an opportunity for Hopkins. And break away from Boothroyd. Uh, one touch. Oh. Nice save from the keeper. Smith with the save, pushed it wide. Boothroyd with a nice touch. I'm not sure if that was a shot or a pass, but it was dangerous in either case. Now they That's also need to take short corners here. Yeah, which makes no sense because then you can then you then you can put it into the box. So I don't understand why you can't just take a corner kick. Yeah, it ends up being the same thing. Thomas into the box, chested out by Henkel. It was a nice cross. It was a good cross. I mean, with the fact that you can't head the ball, though, I'm surprised that they're not working plays on the ground out in front of the box on a quick kick. And were you here last week for the game for the boys against uh, Medway? I, I did not see the JV game. I did watch the varsity game. Well, even in the varsity game, but they weren't using the new FIFA laws where you can pass into the box. They were just trying to boot the ball long every time. And Hopkinton was doing a good job picking off those passes. And I was very surprised that they weren't trying to work the ball up. Nice little move there by, was it number 13? I can't tell. And we got a potential breakaway here. Nice saving stab there from Andrew Bialbreski. Yeah, that was a, a must-make uh, tackle there to save uh, 32 going in for another scoring opportunity. So McGathlin will take the corner kick to Alex. Well, Henkel just stepped over, missed that one. Holliston regains possession. Mari cuts to the middle, drags it across, but it was picked off by McCann. Good speed from number 32 from Holliston.
Direct kick. Indirect kick for Hopkinton. Seven minutes left here in the first quarter. Holliston one, Hopkinton zero. The two teams will meet tomorrow afternoon at Holliston. And we've got the varsity boys coming up right after this. Put in play. Chipped up. Holliston number six doing a nice job of controlling the center of midfield there. Dennison pushes the ball wide, a little behind his teammate. Well, Besky goes up to Preventure. Nice comeback. Henkel. Hopkinton is spending a lot of time with the ball in the middle of the field, trying to dribble through players. I'd like to see him put it wide. McCann puts it out of bounds. Holliston throw. Whoops. Smith. The Lepakis, back to Smith. Nice steal there. And it was Bialbreski, Andrew, with a nice steal. Well, there's a through ball. This is going to be trouble. Oh, offsides. I don't know if he played him deliberately off sides or if it just worked out nicely for him. But Brian Goo touches the ball. Another dangerous Andrew. opportunity. Oh, there's a nice pass to the outside. Back to Donate. Little touch nice turn. to Miller. The Hopkinton attack down the wing, broken up. Donate. Like to see him. Well, plus with the with the throw-ins, Frank, well, you got to wait for the for the second whistle, so you can't even put it back and play quick. Right, right. Poor defensive positioning there from Hopkinton. Uh -oh, Nobody attacked the ball. This is no. Oh, offsides again. Keeper comes off the line. Oh, offsides. <laughs> Shrivastavas with the ball went back to Carolino. Henkel. Yeah. You would have liked to have seen Miller take off early there. He waited for the pass instead of moving to the spot. Oh, here's a chance in the box. Good cross. cross. Oh, oh, nobody on the back post. Balbreski came in tight if he had been outside wide. Nice play, though, for the Hillers. And we won a corner kick there. Oga taking the corner kick. I think I tr need to try to get these to the far corner to get to give the guy receiving the ball a chance to chest it and take a shot on goal. When you receive it on your chest in the near post, it's really hard to do anything with it. Yep. Out of bounds, Hopkinton ball. And we're coming up on the final two minutes of the first period. Hopkinton zero, Holliston one. Holliston scored very early in the first period.
Demetri Vistavas with the ball. Goes behind back them. to Donate. And Miller couldn't control it. Holliston throw. Lazy there from oh, here Brian comes Goo. Alex again, 32. Yeah, keeper oh, stayed save. big, good save. save. And Goo just thumps that one out of bounds. It's another dangerous opportunity, number 32 from Holliston. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Hopkinton's playing a 4-3-3, and they're just not getting a lot of help defensively in the midfield. Passes strung together by Hopkinton. Now they come down the wing. Nice move. Preventure settles the ball. There's a through ball. And we got a COVID foul there. Mari gets called for it. Now this is a good opportunity for Hopkinton here. Just maybe seven yards outside the box. that indirect? Yeah. And Thomas okay. takes the shot. That's handled well from the keeper, Smith. And we're under two minutes, so the official time is down on the field now. Holliston throw. Those indirect kicks are tough. Uh, when you get when they're passing the ball back to you, you, you gotta hit it quickly under pressure. Well, oh, that is the quarter. Roll that well, ball. So the first quarter comes to an end. Holliston with a 1-0 lead over Hopkington. Uh, you say Frank, you gotta give Holliston the edge right now. They're better controlling of the ball and seem to be quicker to the ball. Yeah. They're stringing together passes nicely. Um, seem pretty, pretty confident on the ball. I think as the quarter wore on there, Hopkinton uh, was making it more difficult for them, closing down the space more quickly. Um, but they are finding seams there and getting passes through to number 32 on his feet. And, um, and he's got uh, good feet and good speed. Good size too. Yeah, he's tall. Sized kid. So the varsity boys will take Holliston on uh, at 3 o'clock today, about 30 minutes after the end of this game. The boys coming off a entertaining 3-3 tie last weekend here at home. Yeah, I think it was a, a strong comeback against a very strong uh, Medway team. Um, they lost six to two in the first game at, at right. Medway, and then to come back uh, with a three-three tie. They looked uh, they looked pretty strong. That game had some chances to win the game, I think, too. Yeah, they did. And there's the whistle to get the second period under con underway here. And so Holliston's making a change in net. Yeah, really tall goalkeeper going in there, number 31. The back of the shirt says Smith, but the other goalkeeper was Smith, so I don't know. This is uh, Coach Terry Ryan's first year coaching the uh, JV boys. See what kind of adjustments he, he's made here. It looks like defensively now, almost looks like a, a three-five-two. 
which would make sense based on the gaps that were there defensively. Well, they step in there to steal the ball, number 17. Charles Miller, Sheehan with the ball. Hatherley tries to do a give and go with Sheehan. Picked off by the Panthers. Nice strong step. Miller with the ball. Hatherley. Oh, nice drop of the shoulder. He was looking for Onkin up top. Keys with the ball. Tries to get it to Mari. Hopkinton has definitely started out more aggressively here. Second quarter, they switch sides each quarter, huh? So we can't figure it out. It's it's a, it's a the the JV girls nice cross. Um, J, last week and the boys switched at every period. Varsity didn't, so yeah. we weren't sure what the rationale was. The wind is probably a factor. It's pretty calm right now, but it's been gusting, and it's definitely gusting towards the Holliston goal right now. Let's see if Hopkinton can take advantage of that. Joseph with the ball, spins to the middle. Nice steal. Sheehan was looking for the ball on the outside and came Diagonally inside. There's the ball. ball. No, I, can, no. I can hear the wind in my yeah <laughs> my ears. <laughs> she in with the ball, puts it into Thomas. Thomas tries to dribble through two, loses the ball. Nice step there from Batika. Dribbling forward, nice touch to the outside. She in. And Holliston just boots the ball out. Good pressure here this last two minutes from the Hillers. Yeah, I mean, the, this whole quarter we've been in the Holliston defensive end of the field. It's been a good uh, pep talk there by Coach Ryan. Sheehan will put the ball back in play, indirect kick. You can play this almost like a corner. See if they can get it to the back post. Oh, some danger oh, Miller. in the box. <laughs> nice move. Uh, oh. Sheehan with just a, a little too strong of a touch. Well, this is much better from Hopkinton, for sure, creating opportunities. That's a good steal. step from Hatherley. Goes outside to Sheehan. Oh, he loses possession. Hatherley kept with it. Batika. Oh, nice defensive play from Harrison Smith. Capella just lost it. Nice Hatherley with a steal. Very nice dribbling in the middle. A little uh, too Thomas, much. A little too heavy there. Yep. Keys with the ball. Puts it through the middle. Nice step from Will, <coughs> excuse me, Bielbreski. Five minutes gone here in the second period. 1-0 Holliston lead. Holliston scored very early in the first period. Oh, 
That was a different way to turn. <laughs> Joseph with the ball down the wing. Nice. Well done. Nice there. poke from. I couldn't tell who that was from Hopkinton. That was Boothroyd. Mari. Keys. A nice step from Thomas. Okay. Hopkinton Turn. has it. Uh, no. Nice pass. Good through ball. This Ryan down the wing. Oh, no slide tackling Ooh. in the box. It should be a penalty, and it is. Referee points to the spot. Looks like a Holliston player injured himself on that tackle. I think it's his pride. He's still down. I right, calling on the trainer. Oh, he's walking around now. Looks like he's going to be all right. Not sure who's stepping up to take this kick for the Hillers. Thomas is the only one in the box. Number six? Is that Thomas? Uh, Thomas is number 11, number Nate Thomas. Oh yeah, it looks like he's gonna take an approach from the extreme <laughs> left side here. This could be could be fun to watch. Let's see if he's got the long run. Let's see if he throws in some hesitation moves here. That was Lev Spiro who's injured for Holliston. So it is Thomas that's gonna be taking the kick. I don't like how no there's no Hopkinton players on the line. Yeah, they really should be looking for the rebound. There's the not a single Hopkinton player on yep. the line. Nicely taken, well struck from Thomas. Yep. So we're tied up at one. Very nice shot. To the upper left corner. Some goalies will dive before the shot. That didn't happen here. This goalie reacted to the shot. And I think the ball had enough pace on it for him not really to have much of a chance. Yeah, and you don't see most uh, penalty kicks taken high either. Yeah. They tend to low, low. In, into the side. Jordan with the ball. Gets it back. And nice poke away there from Narayan. Oh, nice steal. Miller with the ball. A uh, little too much. Yeah. I think it kind of, it surprised him that it came back to him. Mm -hmm. Collins with the ball and just pushes it out. Hopkinton ball. Sheehan. Turns nice it. Turn. Nice defense. Very nice there. takeaway there. Oh, oh he's got Sheehan it gets it back. And, and that's cleared by Smith. Will a little bump there from Liam Jordan. Holliston ball. Capella uh, loses the ball to Thomas, to Miller. Will Bialbreski, a little errant shot. And here goes the complete line change again. Yeah, I think one field player stayed on. Everybody else is coming off. 
very nice shift by that group. Lots of pressure and the uh, equalizing goal. The strong kick against the wind. And I was thinking too, we were talking about it last game, that the biggest adjustment adjustment the kids have to make, and probably particularly with the boys' side, is the fact that you can't head the ball. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying on the corners. Really tough. Like if you get a header on the front post, you can do, you more can with do it. something with it. <clears throat> but with your chest, there's not much you can do with that ball. Collins goes across to Dennison. In the middle of the keys, taken away nicely by McCann. Puts it out wide to Narayan. Throw in for Hopkinton, deep in their own offensive end. Into Henkel, puts it into the box. Ends up being a shot on net, easily handled by the keeper. He'd cross that a couple yards further out. We might have had a really nice opportunity there. Yeah. There's only there was only one green shirt in the box though. Yeah. Proventure was there, but nobody was crashing. Nice turn outside there from Donate. Halston down the middle now. Jordan to Keys. Nice pick off from Brian Goo. Joseph with a little back heel. Looks like he was just trying to put it off a hiller. Oh, here Preventure's comes making a run. Numbers. Uh, Hopkins <clears throat> got their heads down. Yep. That was a nice run from Preventure, but nobody saw him. See if they can switch the field here. Number 20 is wide open on this left side. So this defensive, the formation change, moving five into the midfield seems to have helped the Hillers. Yeah, I think it's made it much tougher for Holliston to string the passes together. Smith with the ball. Rolls it out to Dennison. Nice step. Keys. Shrivastava. Dennison. Nobody out wide for Holliston here. Jordan. Jordan again. Nice steal. Nice steal from Brian Goo. Nice pass. Yep. By Albreski. Andrew. That's a nice step from Henkel. Nice pass. Uh, there's a, a good ball. through ball from. If you can get there. Oh, there's an Ryan. opportunity. Oh, oh, nice shot. Just leaned back a little bit. Yep. Beautiful pass, though, from uh, Andrew Bialbreski. Very nice attack by Hopkinton there. Just Ryan. put it over the bar. Ryan coming out. Boothroyd back in. Dennison with the ball. Oh, nice takeaway from Miller. This is an important, oh, very nice composure there by the uh, right fullback for yep. Holliston. Good high pressure here from the oh, Hillers. Look at these guys. Not afraid to uh, <laughs> play with the ball in the back line. Oh, nice, oh, nice move. move. That was keys for Holliston. 
Oh, a little miscommunication there. Dennison. High foot, yep, high kick. Collins with the high boot. McCann puts the ball back in play. Goes outside to Oga. He's wide open. Poor touch. Saved it though. Henkel Kim's back for the ball, back to Oga. Leaves it off for Carolino. Ooh, through the legs. Not Meg, I think. Holliston ball. Have to redo this one. Yep, no second whistle. Yeah, see, this is the way to do it. That little short touch, and then let the second player. Shrivastava fighting for the ball. Holliston just boots it out. On those kick ins, I like the short little pass to a player who's standing right next to the guy on the outside. Yep. That way you can make a longer pass. The defense doesn't know exactly what you're going to do. Otherwise, they know you're going to have to take a short pass. Shrivastava leads Boothroyd. Nice recovery. Yes. Oh, unlucky. Good steal by Holliston. Oof. Ooh, Joseph with a little bump. shoulder there. Oh, that's oh, the end of the that's quarter. That's the end of the quarter. That went fast. So we're at halftime, folks. Holliston 1, Hopkinton 1. We're going to have a short break here, and we'll be back in 10 minutes. And we're back for the second half, folks. Steve Sweetapple, Frank Schnurr, and John Ritz on camera. We've got uh, a very entertaining first half, Frank. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of... Uh Nice attacking soccer. Holliston scored first in the first few minutes of the first period. Hopkinton came back with Nate Thomas with a penalty kick early in the second period, tied up at one. And we're ready to get the third period underway. 17 more minutes of soccer here in this period. Both keepers are ready. Yeah, so far the team that's been playing against the wind has had has struggled to string passes together. And the uh, team with the wind has dominated in both of the quarters. We'll see what happens this quarter. This is Norayan, tries to get it to Thomas. Intercepted. Lipicus. Strong on the ball here. Very six. strong. Nice, nice layoff to Alex. Good tackle. By Obreski. Will with a tackle. Holliston quickly put that one back in play. Dennison with the ball. Moves it to the middle. Oh, no, there's Dennison. Onkin. Safely out of bounds. Yep. Arthur just puts the ball out off a of Holliston player. Valbreski tries to go to Narayan. Nice Ooh, footwork nice there from Benoff. Batika just puts that out of bounds. Throw in Holliston. Have a goal kick for Hopkinton. Will was a 
sure if he was trying to get it to Henkel or Narayan, but went in between them. Mari on the ball. Gets it to Pereira. Steal. Uh, Boothroyd got his pocket pick there. Dennison with a slough off. To Pereira. Nice run by number four. He's in the De box. Silva. Oh, oh, great save. Amazing save. Number 32 had a shot from inside the six yard box there. Quick reaction save by the Hopkinton goalie. Boy, the ball was just staying at De Silva's feet. Will puts the ball back in play to Nate. Mari with a little toe poke forward. Oh, that's a offsides. Hollis did much better at a, at a quick counter. Yeah, Holliston has been dominating again here with the wind. Will tries to get that one to Ruben, but Ruben's grabbing the back of his hamstring. You don't like to see that. Oh, nice challenge. Hatherley. Goes outside, Boothroyd comes back for the ball. Ruben. Is it through ball? Yeah, Ruben almost caught up to his own through ball. <laughs> <coughs> see what they do here with this kick in, in a dangerous position. Nate will put the ball in. Arthur. First time try to cross. Off Boothroyd's back. Through ball for Hollis. Batika, he's going to get there in time. Oh, yeah. Use your keeper. Use your keeper. He's got Arthur in support, and the ball's out. I'm not sure if the keeper was calling for it. I don't think he was. A nice shoulder from Will. Holliston corner. See what Holliston tries to do with this. Dennison in the box. Nice run by Dennison there to get free for on the corner. Uh, nice step by Mari. Just stepped in front of Ruben. Big Athlon. <laughs> Boothroyd with good pressure. Let's see if he uses a keeper. Yeah. Halston has another new keeper in. Yeah, this it's not the same as the first quarter. Yeah, this is the, fir the guy who played the first. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, he's pretty tall, too. Benoff slides it across. Dennison. Nice pass intercepted. It looks like Holliston has changed their formation as well. They've moved Dennison up to yeah, kind of more of a number there. six. Number is down. And Thomas is down. Thomas is down. Walking off, and Miller will come in for him. I think on the attack for both teams, I'd like to see more of the, the forwards check back towards the ball more. Yeah. I think playing defeat, especially against the wind, is the way to go. A wasted ball there from the Hillers. Yeah, a little too far. And they don't—they don't have the speed up front too to go to try to go long ball.
Mari. Arthur with a step oh. in front. This is an opportunity for Hopkinton, rare one. Right on You're right, back. no one's talking to him. <laughs> Still live. Sheehan going for it, and Smith comes up with the ball, rolls it out. <clears throat> nice takeaway. Oh. oh, still. But that was a perfect opportunity here. for Hatherley to just take a one touch. The keeper was so far out of position. I wasn't sure which way that foul would go. They I thought it was both, going the other way. They both kind of ran into each other. Nice step in front by Patika. Yeah, Miller loses that one. Held the ball a little too long. He had Boothroyd wide open on the wing. He is fast Will, down the he wing. He is very fast. Good angle. He's beating his man. Oh, what a step. Great tackle. Great defensive play 13. there from Henkel. Henkel, yeah. Great track back. Yeah, midfielder came, center midfielder came back and made that crucial tackle there right in front of the goal. Great potential game-saving play. Allison again making nice passes out of the defense. The pay kiss. A nice step from Patika. Another nice pass. Dennison. Nice tackle. Balbreski. Well, I'd really love to see him go forward with the ball. Just dribble that right until you get the defender. Here comes Hankel. Nice pass. I think he might have been looking for the winger with that pass. I, I, uh, <laughs> it would have been. Uh, Corner kick Hopkinton. I think they're having a little chat about it now. Halfway through the third period, we're tied up at one. An opportunity for Hopkinton against the wind. Oh, just let him too much. Yeah, that was too firm of a pass. That could be trouble. Goalie gets up there. Smith rolls the ball out to Dennison. Cross field to Keys, back to Dennison. Oh, great through ball. I thought he was off sides. Very nice. Arthur might have held him on. Yeah. Nice recovery from Batika. De Silva, still got it. Batika with the inside track. Nice defensive play by Jason. Number 25 for Hollison, Dennison, is really controlling the ball. He's very confident and calm on the ball. Yeah, and they've moved him up because he was on the back line okay. in the first half. Yeah, he's, he's setting up opportunities, controlling the ball, moving it forward, taking players on, dribbling around players. Yeah, it looked like they moved him to a number six, and he's got a, seems to be having a little more free range in his duties here. Outside. Nicely played by Hopkinton there to get out of the back. I was leaving it for Boothroyd. Luke comes oh, nice. back. Nice little play by Hopkinton there, give and go. On the sideline. McCann just couldn't control it. Up to Lepakis. Dennison, give and go. Nice toe forward to De Silva. Silva's got two Hopkinton players around him. Oh, a nice. late give and go. Lepakis. Silva's got a breakaway. He just a little oh, chip what shot. What a beautiful chip shot. Very nice chip shot. Scooped it right over the goalie. Great composure one on one with the goalie. He did get a lucky bounce there yep. off the defender. Uh, unfortunate for Hopkinton. So that was Marcos De Silva at 620 of the third. But you had there Lepinkis and Dennison co combining nicely to get uh, to get the goal scorer through one on one with the central back. Carolino loses possession. De Silva. De Silva, the goal scorer. Yeah. 
the Pecos. Dennison. Outside to McGathlin. It's a really nice Mari. string of passes together here by Hopkinton, keeping control of the ball. Oh, bad touch. Oh, they got it They've back got again. It back. Smith continues forward. Nice breakup from Hopkinton. It almost looks like Hopkinton's panicking, though, when they get the ball. There's not a lot of composure out there. Miller with a good step. Yeah, as, as they go on the attack, they seem to be rushing their right. passes. Yep. There's definitely opportunity for them to take the space. They dribble dribble in that space when they're when they've got free space in front of them. Nice step. Very good very good step there from uh Donate. And that's gonna roll Preventure's out, just not gonna catch that one. Smith. Nice turn. Nice, t nice take away. Whoop, there's a foul. Oh, oh Austin wow. kick. Wow. <laughs> cover, cover, cover. Maybe there was some contact before the foul. Yeah, these COVID rules, any intentional contact. That's not in the process of stealing the ball. It's, it's basically a foul. You imagine in the varsity game, it was crazy. The whistle was blowing every. Yeah, we said it sounded like a field hockey game. Yeah, it's every 30 seconds at some some periods of during the game. Good step from McCann. Yeah, this one's going Hopkinson's way. See if they can get it into the box for an opportunity. Carolino. Long the high ball. Kick. Shoulder flick from Dennison. Lepakis going to De Silva. It's a nice clearance. Smith off his line. That's a dangerous Th That's a very dangerous pass. Preventure. I think keeper could have picked that up. Miller. Benoff, nice control. Boothroyd. Uh, he's got great composure on the ball. That was a great turn. Oh, uh, you would have liked to have seen a dummy there. Here's an opportunity for Hopkinton. And just put out by O'Neill. Corner kick coming up here for Hopkinton. Yeah, you would have liked to have seen Trivistava do a dummy there. Because he had yeah. uh, he had Andrew wide open on the wing, unmarked. That's a good cross, getting to the far post. Nobody there. Keys puts it up. Strong move forward there. Keys with the ball to Dennison. Dennison. Nice Back to Keys. Back to Dennison. One touch outside. Through oh, ball nice to through Alex. Ball to Keepers out of his line. That's going to be a goal. Yep. So. That attack came straight up the middle. Nice combination play by Holliston. Give yep. and go passing between Dennison and Alex. We don't know his last name. <laughs> we just heard the coach call him Alex. Yeah. So three to one, Holliston in front. Now Holliston putting on a five or six subs, seven subs. We're under two minutes here in the third period. And a 
gorgeous Saturday afternoon. Andrew Bielbeski puts it in play. Andrew's got the ball back. Brian Gu launches it forward. Nobody's there. Ball played behind Liam Jordan. I see two Hopkinton players there. They were both tentative going to the ball. And there's the end of the third period. Holliston three. Hopkinton won. Holliston put two more on the board there, Frank. Yep. All the goals, all four of the goals scored with the wind. So we'll see if, and, and play dominated by the team going with the wind all three quarters. Well, let's see if the Hillers can turn this around. It was interesting that Holliston changed their formation after halftime as well. Both teams going in five in the midfield. Yeah, I think controlling the center of the midfield has been the, the theme of this game. Not a ton of attacking down the wings. Play, the players, the outside yep. mids aren't staying wide enough to be open. Yep. And I don't hear, just don't hear a lot of communication on the field. Yep, yep. Halston really stringing together lots of nice passes. Much much better at, a, at the one-touch game than the Hillers so far. Yeah. So we've got the boys' varsity coming up at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Oh, there is? I did yeah. not know that. Thank you. Thank you, John Ritz, just informing us that senior night is between the two games. I was unaware of that. That was not in my Tom Nappy email. <laughs> my so. uh, my son is one of the junior captains on the on the varsity team. So my wife Laura and I and George and Meg Gon were out here decorating. Ah, you were part of the decorating committee. Uh, the field here. Um, probably can't see it from this camera. No. <laughs> on the near side, we've. we've You've got the some, seniors uh, and the Go Hillers. Solo cups, uh, bright orange solo cups that says Go Hillers and seniors 21. We have Hopkinton, the varsity team has two seniors graduating this year. Um, Ross Kompkowicz and um, Pat Krantz, goalie Pat Krantz. So we're ready to, for the fourth and final period here. Hiller is now with the wind at their back. See if uh, Holliston can continue to dominate or if Hopkins can, can turn it around with the wind. And we got their 17 minutes on the board. We're ready to play. Holliston with a keeper change again. And just as the whistle's blown, the wind definitely picks up. Pass. Uh, well, Joseph stopped because he thought he was going to be called for a handball. And there's a foul. Oh. Hatherley. Sheehan. Uh, hard first touch from Sheehan. Smith with the ball into the middle. Arthur with a foot out to deflect it. There was an opportunity to go wide again. Yep. Nice step there from Collins. The Pecos.
Holliston throw. Nice step. Arthur pressuring the ball. Ankle. Nice run forward. Yep. And a through ball down the wing. Played out of bounds. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Sean McCann just continue to carry that. Yeah. He still had a lot of field. He could have, sure, certainly. Until the defender, you force a defender, force to, a defender come, to you. Come to you, and that might open up your, your wingman. Thomas inside. Nice pass. Hatherly with a shot. Ooh. Blocked. Patikas. Let's go wide. Let's go wide. Uh, waited too long. Still open out wide. Sheehan. McCann, or Sheehan with the ball. Hankle. Oh, uh, good idea. You could tell he was trying to bend that. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't get his foot around it, but it was a well-struck ball. He got, he got uh, good power on it. Yeah, that's really nice of Halston coming out of the back using the wing. Henkel. Oh, good through ball. Will's there. He's going to turn with it. Nice pass. Will intercepts again. And just couldn't get it to McCann. Did it take a deflection? Yeah, it did take a deflection. Yeah. yeah. Ruben. Oh. Important clearance by Lepicus there. Well, Halston has done better against the wind than any, any other quarter. Here comes Henkel. Nice move. Oh, good layoff. Great pass in the middle. Oh. Oh. Great pass. Just Ruben was just caught in between his left and his right. Great movement from Henkel, though. Yeah, they strung together uh, four really nice passes there between the three of them. Just couldn't get a shot off. Arthur brings it down. Couldn't control it. And Holliston could have a break here. Good recovery from Arthur. Batika breaks up that opportunity. Henkel, nice pass to the wing. Calling for it Thomas. back. Thomas. Gets it back. Oh, that was a Ankin. It was a bright idea, but Narayan wasn't making a run. A Back pass. to Will, to Ankin. Ooh, good, good idea, good try with that turn move. Joseph, good step from nice. Hatherley. Yes, nice defense. Oh, Just left the pass a little short for McCann. I like that he made that pass and then kept going forward for the for the give and go, the return pass. Through ball for Holliston, that's running towards the sideline. And Will's there to break up another attempt. Good ball. Ahead. Indirect kick. Oh, this is a dangerous kick spot. In a dangerous spot, yes. Yeah, ball's closer. 
uh, indirect, so somebody has to touch it before they can shoot. Yeah. That was a wasted effort. So if, I've watched the varsity team do this, uh, this indirect kick, and the what they're doing is the shooter starts his run, and then the passer just rolls the ball for like a single revolution or two. Makes it much easier for the shooter to adjust to the tempo of the ball uh, and get a good shot off. Hinkle. Good try. Good step from Joseph. And Batika again. Holliston throw. Hopkinton will go with a line change, complete, almost complete team change. The next opportunity. Batika with a step. Hinkle breaks it up. Nice pass. See, that ball wasn't out of bounds. No. Hatherley, I didn't think it was all the way over the line. Yeah. The rule is the whole ball has to be over the whole line. Dennison tries to go through two. Thomas. Nice footwork. Went for the through ball instead of the pass to the middle. I would have liked them to see him move it through the middle up upfield more before the through ball. Give it, give it. There you go. Good. Communicate, communicate. Oh, nice move from Henkel. And puts it behind Ruben. Still alive down the wing. Nice cross. sure what happened there. The handball? He's got to call him. What? 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 How can it be? How can it be? How can it be? How's the ball? I have no idea. Yeah, I didn't see anything there. I have no idea what that call is. It seemed to hit. It hit, it hit the, the defender, defender in, the, in the shoulder. Upper shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. I would give it to him in the shoulder. I wasn't sure if he called a handball. The only thing he could have called was offsides. But Ruben was so far down the wing, the ball came back. Yeah, I didn't see anything. And there's the shift change for yeah, nine tenths of the team change. <laughs> Henkel's the only one staying out. Seven and a half minutes left. Holliston three, Hopkinton one. Boys JV varsity match. They, these two teams will play again tomorrow in Holliston. Ooh, late charge from Boy. Brian. Glad no one got injured on that one. Halston's definitely doing a lot less subbing than Hopkinton. Uh, good composure from Goo. He had Oga on the wing and he just tried to touch it to him. Just a, a little, the bounce was a little too big. Dennison. Nice pass. Oh, very well nice. done. Nice, nice touch from Thomas to Henkel. Oh, they keep they're going Up down to the middle McCann, here. Up to McCann. Back to Henkel. Hopkinton strung together like six or seven passes there. That was really nice. Throw in Holliston. Henkel with a good pick off. Good stand up from Brian. play from Luke. 
Let's see if we can attack here. Uh, Booth Roy runs through it. Falls to Miller. Oh, he's going down the outside. He's got Thomas. Nice He pass. goes to Boothroyd. Cuts it in. Very nice. Shot on goal. Oh! McCann was there. Just, or it was Preventure. Just couldn't finish it. Very nice combination here with Boothroyd down the wing. Taking it in on the goalkeeper. Getting a shot off and then the rebound. Probably the best opportunity. Hoffington has had for a second goal. Shrivastavas. It's not going to get that COVID call. Gustavo will put the ball in play. Here comes a large substituting group for Holliston. Thomas. Looking for the through ball there. Allston comes away with it. Trying to lead to Silva a little too much. Tyler with the ball off Holliston. Brian Google put the ball in play. Tyler. Dennison wheels. Lepakis lays Dennison. it off for Dennison. Gu with an interception. Oh, very Oga strong tackle with a good by step. Oga. Looking for the through ball. I think the goalie's going to get line. there first. Plays it smartly with his feet there, the goalkeeper for Holliston. Three minutes to go here in the final period. Holliston three. Hopkinton one, Steve Sweetapple, Frank Schnurr, John Ritz with you. De Silva tries to bring it down, but follows Henkel in the process. Hopkinton is running out of time here. Carolino. Two, two, oh, that's a nice ball. Thomas was there, but just a little too far. Yeah, a little too far. Without your ability to use your head, it's tough to play that ball. He would have had to do something special with his shoulder to get that ball on goal. Agu with a turnover. Oh, what a oh, beautiful good step. step. Nice pass. Uh, don't let that ball run past you. Get a touch on it. Looking for the through ball. Intercepted. Holliston ball. We're under two minutes here, folks. Dennison, outside, kept in well. Hopkinton ball, Gustavo will put it back in play. Good recovery from Brian. Pecos, nice step Hankel from Hankel. Nice uh, just a little too far. Oga, 
Nice recovery from Lupecas. One touch to O'Neill. Tyler, a little confusion there with Balbreski. Trying to do a little too much there, I think. Gustavo. Nice step by Hollison's defender. Good. Coming down the wing nice now. Nice give and go. 15. Nice move. He's got a free cross. Oh, off the off the own goal. Off the Hopkins defender into the Hopkins goal. First goal against the win for Hollison to make it four to one. So that was with with less than a minute to play. Oh, what did they call? Oh, no goal. Oh, they're calling. They're calling. You know what? It came off of Goo's arm. Yeah. No, it came off Tyler's goal. Tyler's arm. Oh, Tyler's arm. Yeah. So I I don't know I don't know what that can be. And the refs are having a discussion. That, that should be an own goal. It was a shot on net. Went off Brian's arm. I'm not sure what the rule is on that. The handball definitely occurred before the goal. should be a goal and if it's not a goal I mean because the the ball went in after it hit his arm so you can still award the goal if they're gonna give a handball they got to give a penalty kick yeah they called an indirect kick and give it a I don't understand indirect kick makes no sense it would be either handball in the box or a uh, or a goal okay I don't know, other than it's an indirect kick for Holliston. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough, too, for the defending team because you have to stay six feet apart. Yeah, no wall. So you can't make a proper wall. You still should have more guys there. Yeah. So have some guys on the goal There line. should be one on the near post, one on the far post. There you go. Well, that's it, Tyler. Let's see how Holliston does their indirect kick. Yeah, just a roll. Oh, oh nicely taken. Shrivastava, still ball, still in the box, flicked back in. Well done. Strong play Gustavo. by the Hopkinton defender. That's the game, folks. A very entertaining match. Uh, fortunately, Hopkinton comes out on the short end of the stick. Three goals for Holliston, one for Hopkinton. But a, a, overall, a pretty good match, Frank. Yeah, I think both teams played very well. Um, coaches made adjustments on both sides, I think. Um, you know, they'll have another crack at it tomorrow. Yep. Not four miles away from here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Down the road. 24 hours from now, they'll do it again. <laughs> do it again. Well, we've got the senior night coming up um, shortly and then the boys game at 3 o'clock. So for John Ritz, Frank Schnur, this is Steve Sweetapple and we'll see you shortly.